Amen. It is wonderful to be here. My name is Ellen Orchid. I'm celebrating something tonight. Anybody celebrating anything tonight? Birthday anniversary? This is such a lovely place, perfect place for a celebration. Well, I'm celebrating the anniversary of my divorce. Yay! <laughs> As they say in Star Wars, they divorced me with you! <laughs> yes, folks, seven years. Seven years I'm divorced. I celebrate it today as I celebrate every year alone. I watch my wedding video backwards. It's perfect to celebrate a divorce. Think about it. It's an undoing. Very therapeutic. First you see the bouquet flying back into my hands. We take the rings off. We look at each other and say, do I? <laughs> really recommend this. The divorce is working. Our divorce is the envy of our friends. My ex and I, we look at each other. We know we would divorce each other all over again. Yeah, yeah. It's a funny thing, marriage. It really is. I should have known it was going to tank because there was a courtship. And that ship is headed right to court. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It's a contract for better, for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness or in health. But it's a legal contract. What other contract would you sign where you agree to contradictory terms? <laughs> if you took a job, would you take a job? You'll be either the CEO or the janitor. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Get four weeks vacation, four minutes. Take a chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, we have two wonderful children. Do we have any parents in the audience today? Parents. There you go. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's the most difficult job in the world. Good for you. Good for you. And the hours are terrible. I have two children. They're great kids, but it is exhausting. And my sister says, Alan, Alan. Stop complaining. I mean, you blink and they're in college. That's not true. I tried it. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. The rest of you that are not parents, let me ask you something. What do you do for aggravation? <laughs> great kids, I can't blame them, but it's just hard being a single parent. And one thing is very clear, I'm going to have to put them through college. They're going to city college. That's it. And I even sang them a lullaby so they would get the message early on. rock a bye baby, on the way to city college. It'll be cheaper and you'll still get some knowledge. So you ride the one train, it was good enough for me. So rock a bye baby and forget MIT. <laughs> thank you, thank you. These kids get so much homework. I'm glad we're off for the summer because that homework was killing me. It's killing me. You gotta help them. But I, uh, we did okay this year. We had a science project. What wine helps mom pass out faster? <laughs> we got a B plus on our book report in Martin Luther King. Thank you very much. I'm finally getting the hang of this algebra stuff. I'm doing much better in the eighth grade this time around. <laughs> I have some, some, pe some friends of mine that do homeschooling. I don't understand this. This seems so difficult to me. I couldn't do homeschooling, not in my home. First of all, it's a mess. And I have stuff to do. I have chores. I'm not home that much. They have a lot of substitute teachers. The super, the doorman. But I try to give practical classes like, today we're going to iron mommy's pants. Yeah. My son's at a school where he has to take Latin. I don't understand this. What, is he going to get a job working for Julius Caesar? <laughs> We're in Brooklyn. Give us something we can use. Russian. <laughs> there are a lot of Russians in Brooklyn. I'll tell you, there's even a Russian mafia. You know how this works? They make you an offer you can't pronounce. <laughs> Yeah. I'm dating, 
I try. I try to date. Do we have any couples here today? We have lots of beautiful couples. I admire you. I envy you. I ask all my friends, do you know any nice single men? Do you know any nice single men? They say, Ellen, that's your mantra. You say that all the time. And I get the same answers. Nice? No. Single? Yes. <laughs> or they'll say, if I knew any nice single men, I'd be dating them. Or they say, yes, he's nice and single, but he's dating another nice and single man. <laughs> Dating's changed since my first time around. Now they have this thing, friends with benefits. Ever heard of this? Yeah. I hope it's health benefits. <laughs> Dental. I really do. It's not easy. It's not easy. Now, in the olden days, when I was first dating, people would ask you out and buy you dinner. Now it's, let's meet for coffee. Let's meet for drinks. It's like a screening, a pre-date. If I'm going to get out of the fetal position and shave my legs, <laughs> buy me a freaking meal. <laughs> Make an investment. <laughs> I'll try to help. I'll bring coupons. <laughs> I tried this online dating. Anybody tried the online dating? Yeah. J date, E harmony, OK Cupid. I call it J don't, E agony, OK stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You look at these. I don't understand these profile pictures. It's a picture guy. He's supposed to be showing himself off to his best advantage. He's wearing big sunglasses and a baseball cap pulled down way low. What is he in the witness protection program? I don't understand. And then you read their profile. Income. We'll tell you later. Yeah? I'll meet you later. Way later. I've been having some terrible dates. Very disappointing. I went out with this guy, I swear to you, he boasted to me that he scored high on the autism scale. <laughs> I went out with another guy, I swear, he's, he forgot his wallet. At the end of the meal, he forgot his wallet. I said, gee, what a coincidence. I forgot my genitals. <laughs> I <gotta> go home. <laughs> forgot his wallet, give me a break. <laughs> Went out with the guy, I, nice dinner, I thought it was going well. He goes, Ellen, you're not my type, you're too nice. So I shot him. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> People expect a lot, guys expect a lot, I understand this. I answered this guy's personal, he goes, so Ellen, what do you look like? Are you a 10? I said, come on. I'm a single mom. I'm exhausted. I might be a five two days in a row. How about I'm a seven and I'll owe you three? Could that work? It gets lonely, folks. It really does. I mean, my daughter's on Facebook all the time. My son's on the Xbox all the time. And I'm on Xanax all the time. It gets lonely. I go to the dentist just to hear a man say, Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you have to do. Cheap thrills. You do what you have to do. To you know what I'm talking about? If I want to see Tonk, I go to the deli. <laughs> we do what we have to do. I, let it out. Don't repress. We're here. We're here. I used to work as a psychotherapist. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I do not recommend this profession. Not at all. Anybody here in therapy? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Denial. It saved my life. In fact, I wanted my therapist to come tonight to the show. She said, Ellen, it's not right for the therapist to enter the real life of the patient. I said, really? Well, you entered my real wallet. <laughs> Yeah, therapy was hard. I used to work at a hospital in Manhattan. One night on Christmas Eve alone, I was in the psychiatric emergency room. I saw 12 hypochondriacs, 11 obsessive compulsives, 10 pyromaniacs, 9 8 anorexics, and the guy who thought he was a partridge in a pear tree. That is very stressful work. People are under so much stress. This patient came up to me and goes, Miss, Miss, you gotta help me. I'm invisible! He said, I can't see you now. 
<laughs> I thought the four, let it out, don't be pressed. I, I thought it would be an interesting field. I used to read Sigmund Freud. Anybody read Freud? Anybody see the movie? <laughs> this guy was a genius. He discovered the subconscious. No one else was aware of it. You know, that joke is going to hit you like a ton of bricks on the way home. There's <laughs> even an airlines to honor him. Freud Airlines in Europe, did you know this? The plane has two sections, guilt and non-guilt. <laughs> and the seats go all the way back to childhood. <laughs> let it out, let it out. Yeah. But I'm not that easy to live with. I'm if I can, I feel I can confess this to you. I'm a coffee holic. I just love coffee. Do we have any coffee, coffee people here? No, just me. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, you too. How many cups a day? I got your beat. I got your beat. Let's hold hands and tremble together. I love this stuff. I love coffee. Every day I thank God coffee is legal. Legal stimulant. I am totally hooked. What if it were a street drug? To go downtown, dark, <laughs> park, find the guy that's going, I got crystals, got folders, <laughs> Maxwell House, what do you need, what do you need? I got bean, I got brew, I got perk. <laughs> I said, sir, you gotta help me, I got a mug on my back. <laughs> I'd have to join one of those 12-step programs, get some help. Coffee Holics Anonymous. What would that be like? I guess we'd sit around drinking wine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, but I love, I love being in the city. Do you like to, uh, does anybody here like the Broadway shows? Yeah, have you seen anything good lately? Yeah. What'd you see? Is that memorable? Is that good, right? Right, right. I always marvel how they can make shows about anything, anything. Avenue Q, a, show, a great musical about puppets. A few years ago, they made this musical about the Titanic. I had to see this. I could not imagine. How do you make a Broadway show about a disaster like that? What kind of songs could you possibly do? <laughs> clang, clang, clang went the light bulb. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Glug, glug, glug went my husband. Because he just couldn't swim too well. <laughs> <laughs> or how about, do you see that iceberg? <laughs> Amazing, these people are geniuses, geniuses. What horrible thing are they, they going to make a musical about next? Melanoma, the musical. <laughs> Melanoma, the most dangerous of the skin cell cancers. I had a mole, <laughs> I had it removed, Mama, it wasn't benign, Papa, and cause it wasn't benign, the future's not fine, I don't have much time, or, or how about eye diseases? Oh, Glaucoma, I can see, uh, my eyes have learned about uh, glaucoma. <laughs> anyway, you've been a lovely crowd. There's lots more show. My name is Ellen Morgan. Let's bring out our MC. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the evening.